Here we go! At least that's what I would have said if I had made it. You know, in hindsight, perhaps a dash jump would have been more appropriate to try right there. Let's try this again. Of course, I'm almost dead now, but... There we go. Second time's the charm. There's still no way to restore my health it's over here, It's huh? amazing to think that this place has always been under the castle. Kind of surprising you didn't know there, Laura. Oh, I guess you just kind of resigned yourself to a miserable existence. I don't blame you. Frankenstein was a cruel, evil genius who built the time machine before Carmilla took over the castle. But the time machine? The machine, which was based on the work of Dr. Emmer Marin, was said to grant only temporary time travel, and so could not be used for any great length of time. Carmilla cruelly punished Frankenstein for his crimes. One such punishment was the removal of his fingers, which lay still somewhere within the castle. That's great, so that's what they meant by Frankenstein's fingers. That's great. I forget if you ac actually, like, get anything for getting all the fingers. I think for me, I just wanted to play through the DLC, get the story, and that was that. I didn't go on the hunt for Frankenstein's fingers. But who would have thought he could have come up with something like a time machine? I mean, he seemed like a smart guy for the time. You know, the time period that we're- oh, no. Dude, I'm not in the- uh, Dude, I can't fight anyone! You kidding me? Okay, well, maybe with half health I'll do a little bit better. But you're seriously not gonna give me a health refill. Okay, no, that's cool. It's fine. No, I, I, I don't care. Do you care? No, I definitely don't care. Oh, I have to make the jump again. Okay. Yeah, I got no magic. A little bit less than like half my health left. You know, I'm tempted to use the crystal. I really am tempted to use the crystal here. Oh, I have to get the... Have to get the scroll over again. It's amazing to think that this place has always been under the castle. No need to read it again. But man, why with the skeletons again? I get it, you know, like lichens and vampires and necromancers wouldn't make sense, but... Should I use the crystal? Should I attempt to use the crystal? Get the full crystal. I can always go back and get another one. Yeah, screw it, dude. We're going. You could always replay an older level and just get the crystal that way, so that should be pretty easy. And I just don't feel like fighting skeletons right now. Screw you! Ugh. Oh, look at that magic. What a privilege. Although I should probably use, be using more holy water. I believe when I was going and getting that last little health expansion that I got, that I also got a holy water expansion and a knife expansion. Oh, a fairy one too. That's all those arcs have, by the way. Laura, through the door now. I'm coming. Don't know how helpful it's going to actually be. Look for an entrance for you. I'll be waiting here. Ooh, and we're playing as Laura! Yeah, I remember this being pretty fun, actually. Let's take a look at this. So we have the Goal Grab. Press the R2 button to grab a nearby stunned goal and suck its blood. You'll recover health during this, but remember to release the action button before the goal turns completely black or it'll explode in your face. Okay, so what's our... Got our electric powers right here. Looks like we got, like, a bit more of a charge ranged attack. Our long attack, okay. And then we can suck Goal's blood by grabbing onto them. Good stuff. Okay, so what do we want to do here exactly? I believe this is the gate we came through, yeah. So we're gonna have to find a way to get Gary Bill in here, I guess. So the main gimmick of the, the first part of this DLC, I believe Chapter 13, as we have Chapter 13 and Chapter 14, um, they are uh, rather distinct, if I may say so. So for Chapter 13, it's going to be uh, we play as Laura, intermittently. And <laughs> we can use Misform to cross the barrier. <laughs> ah, man, I love this. This is a nice little callback to, um... Good, yeah, dodge towards it. Here we go. Yeah, uh, you did dodge like that. There we go. Okay, I was pressing the wrong button because I've been playing some other games, but um, of course that's a good callback to the um the mist form that Alucard has has a transformation in Castlevania Symphony of the Night, um, which you know you could say was kind of far and away <laughs> the most useless transformation in the game that you only used it to get past um oh, crap that you only used it to get past certain barriers like that. But I love how they give Laura that power in this one. It's a, a nice little callback. To OG Alucard. Okay, so we got the goals right here. Let's go ahead and try sucking some blood. Since I'm already kind of low. Come on. Work. 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 Oh, do they have to be stunned or something? They probably do. And this is another reason why, um... There we go. Now I can drink it. 
is another reason why the, the DLC seems to be pretty freaking difficult. It's gonna suck the blood, and then how do we let go before, before it turns black? Okay, so now we get out of there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, playing as Laura can be a little bit difficult, um, because she has a far more limited move set than Gabriel does. No combos that I'm aware of, at the very least, that I even remember. And, of course, it's all fun and games until these guys get all hopped up on something. Ah, stab it! Stab it! Okay, well, we're gonna have to drink your blood here. And I guess we just repeat this ad nauseum, because, uh, there's a lot of these guys. It doesn't look like these gaps are... gonna fill up anytime soon. Alright, let's get out. Stop it. Well, at least you can't poison her, right? I don't think you can. Can vampires get poisoned? I don't think so. Okay, so I think that'll do it. Yeah, combat as Laura is, uh, kind of a drag. You know, not a, not a whole lot to it, for sure. Okay, there we go. So I guess now we just power up these things with our electric power. That's one! And that's gonna be two. I mean, don't get me wrong, cool that we play as a second character in this game. Nice way to sweeten the deal and get people to buy the DLC, I guess, but... As for combat, it's, uh, it's... It's not great. Of course, we can't use any magic, because we're a vampire. Why would you have to use light and dark magic whenever you're a freaking vampire? Okay. Nice that we can't get across. It's, it's fine. Huh, that kind of reminds me of a statue from Super Metroid, now that I think about it. Just kind of in the design, I guess. It's, it's no real... Comparisons to them or anything like that, I don't know. Just a random thought I had for some reason, don't really know why. And down that goes. Hey, looks like Gabriel can use it. I'll take it. So at least we know we can get a magic refill. Uh, of course, I would prefer a health refill. But... <laughs> Poor Laura. You can tell she's acting bratty, but I mean, this is... This is a very lonely, tragic child, for sure. Alright, let's get all this back, because God knows I'm gonna need it. In fact, I think whatever the, the last time I played this DLC, the one and only time I played this DLC, I believe I cranked it down to easy just because I was, uh, like, super tired of playing it. Okay, so do I tear it down just by using the whip, or... Do I have to punch it? Probably have to punch it. Maybe with the Shadow Magic. Okay, let's try dashing. It's always the dashing for some reason. It's never like the punches or anything. Okay, one of Frankenstein's fingers. What? <laughs> what an honor. Joy. So glad I was able to get my hands on that one. Alright, get you back. And one more time. Those are the remains of the original tower that the founders built here. The forgotten one is locked up somewhere inside. So that's the Forgotten One's tomb, huh? I don't really know how you can seal a tower like this, but they did say that the Vampire's Castle, I could say Carmilla's Castle now, I suppose, um, that you know it was an agent of chaos. It changes every time. Its layout is never the same. Something like that. So this is the first gate. Closed. And we can do a whole lot of nothing right here. I well, guess we're making our way to the top. If memory serves, like, the bulk of this DLC is going to take place here. Although I guess the DLC, maybe it's not as long as I remember it being. Maybe just because I didn't enjoy it as much, I thought, you know, it, it took a bit longer than it really is, but... Okay. Hey. There seems to be a whole lot of nothing up here, too, so what gives? Nothing over here? I mean, the game did auto-save for me, so, uh, what is this? Aha! Uh -huh, looks like we can climb. Here I thought we'd have to open some kind of door. Very convenient indentures in the architecture, though. I suppose that's just kind of the story of this game. Oh, what is this? Okay, we had to light all of them up. Okay. Well, this is not- uh, the game- the, the main game never makes do this type kind of thing, but... And now the gate opens. Hmm, interesting. Almost as if the Brotherhood only wanted the person with the combat cross to actually be able to open that door. Oh no, I guess that's a theory you could float around. I say combat cross, it's the vampire killer now, isn't it? Much to the chagrin of Laura, who probably would not like such a name. Although it would be more interesting to get more insight into her, like, uh... Like, what, what do you actually think of the vampire species? You know, what, what are you actually holding back? What, what are your true feelings here, you know? Get the feeling you're not being completely honest with us when you say you like the bloodlust or whatever. 
Ah, oh, this. Oh, I remember this being a gigantic pain. It's a clock tower puzzle on steroids. Could she just, like, carry me over or something like that? Okay, increased blade speed. What does that do? Right, so. That just makes it to where it goes up and down now. Ah, oh, man, this is gonna be such a gigantic pain. I don't like this at all. Okay, stop it. Okay, so that increases it even further. So it looks like we have three speeds. So can I actually stop it whenever those blades are, like, not in my way, or is that not an option? Yeah, yeah, so it just stops right there. Okay, so I believe I want it at the slowest setting for right now. I'll try getting past here. No, it should be able to, like, hop up, right? Okay. But the thing is, if you mess up, you gotta do, like, all of this all over again, so we're gonna have to you know, stay on our toes here. Alright, I think I see the way we're gonna have to go here. Can I make this, though? I have to climb... Oh! Okay, that blue one's not going anywhere, though, it looks like, for some reason. Do we have to increase it again? I mean, look at this! Do you see this? Oh god, now it's moving! Okay, yeah, so that's what you need in order to get that to go. Okay, how about we reduce it now, since I don't have to deal with the blue one anymore? If I could do this in one shot, I'll be pretty impressed with myself, but I remember this being a gigantic pain. Okay, now what? What am I looking at here? I think I just want to go down, right? I have to keep in mind that some of these are probably... That's great. That's fantastic. Oh, at least I start right here. Okay. Yes, yes, I'm fully aware. So, some of these probably- Ooh, that's a life art down there. Some of these probably just lead to, like, Frankenstein fingers. And I don't care about Frankenstein fingers. I'm not gonna worry about them. I just need to go, like, where I need to go here. Okay, what got me right there? I guess I just didn't realize that I was, like, grazing a bleed or something like that. Okay, how about we reduce it again, just so I can get my bearings here. Okay, so... If I drop down here, I'm not gonna- Okay, I am gonna die. Needs more power. <sighs> I don't think that's the problem, but oh wait, it is. So that's what it's gonna I'm gonna have to keep my eye on both of them at the same time. Okay, yeah. And I think that's gonna do it. Okay, sweet. So that health arc over there was just a Frankenstein finger. That's what I was talking about. I don't gotta deal with that if I don't have to. And yeah, this is going a lot faster than I remember it going. <laughs> Yeah, we're almost done. Founder's Quarters. Maybe this does spill over in Chapter 14. She I don't remember. Lost soul. But here we go. A child whose innocence was cruelly taken from her. What kind of god could allow such things to happen? Innocent children turned into monsters. I thought then I could save her. Show her some kindness that might mean something to her. What a fool I was. Just like the three Brotherhood Founders, we were all betrayed. I feel a sense of pity for them now. I have travelled that road that they first set out upon, and I have become that which they became. I am darkness. I am shadow. Yeah, so I guess that experience at the, the end of the base game did end up changing you, huh? The realization that Okeno all was for nothing. We cannot Pretty depressing stuff. The top floor no longer exists. Yeah, look at that. Broken down by something. Anything over here, though? What does this do? A missing piece. Oh, huh? well, there could be something over here. Let's see what we get. I sense a powerful magic in this clock. Mother said there was a way to turn back time with this machine. Oh, I see. So is this the time machine that they were speaking of when they were going on about Frankenstein's abominations? Oh my god, what is this? Oh man, this is one of those, like, turn everything at once puzzles, isn't it? Okay, that's gonna be annoying. Let's go ahead and see what this thing does first. So it looks like this has to be all lined up for this to do anything, huh? 
Okay, so how many rings do we actually have here? We got one, two, three, and that's it. So three rings, just like before. So this one turns all of them. Interesting, okay. This one, okay, so they all turn, except for this one, which just turns uh, like this. Um, so what I have to do, if I'm looking at this correctly, I think that has to happen right there. Then we have to, no, 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 no. Let's see. Then I have to line this one up, right? Yeah, and then we just turn all three of them at the same time. I believe that's it. So now we just have this one at the top. Easy enough. Alright, there we go. Oh, that causes that to just go down. So this device still doesn't really work. Uh, so we have to put the key up top and then that'll do something. I can already tell, we're gonna have to turn back time to where the passage to the top actually still existed, is that correct? Pretty sure, yeah. Okay, oh man, again. Alright, well here we go. So I got all my magic back. Actually, you know what, we're gonna do this the easy way. We're gonna do this the smart way this time. I'm gonna get all my health back and I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that I got all this holy water. Ooh, this is a crystal. I'll save that for later, because we're going to be needing that momentarily, if you need me. Get all of our health back first. And I do want to be grabbing these guys whenever it's possible to get my magic points back. Of course, if there's no skeletons, I kind of get... Ooh, that seems like a new finisher. Uh, but unlike the skeletons, those guys are not, like, super hard to take care of, so... Not nearly as many of them, either, although I probably should be doing this while we have a reprieve. Although, I guess Laura could just phase through it. Hey, and there we go. Nothing else around here? Might be something out here. Although, there's really nothing to find. There's no gems or anything like that. It's just Frankenstein fingers. Although, I am... My curiosity is slightly peaked. What happens when you get all of them? I don't know. I mean, that's just one Google search away, I suppose. I will not but. go into the chapel. I'll wait here. Oh, well, oh, it's kind of... kind of repelling you, huh? Kind of poisonous to vampires like yourself? What is this? Give it here! Gimme! Come on, let go! You don't need it anymore. God, that is a big gym, Jesus. Not gonna lie, guys, I thought he was gonna fight bet. Oh. Oh, oh he is. Okay. And are you... are these just the, the... oh, the ghost guys again. Yeah, these guys are among the most annoying enemies to have to take down as well. Especially when there's more than one, which of course there are. Here we go. Again, I'm not playing any games here. I got all this holy water, we're putting it to good use. Especially since apparently I've been maxing out on holy water, so... Why wouldn't I? Oh, these things seem to have less health than the ones that really gave me a... A problem throughout the main campaign. And those are just knives, okay. So we got the big boy, Jim. Is that really all we need? I guess so, yeah. It's a lot more simplistic than I remember it being, I don't know. When I last played this, it must have been... God, six, seven years ago? No, no, no. I mean, oh, that's not gonna work. We gotta put the gym in first, I think. But, um, it, it's been a long time. And at that point, um, I was kind of ready to go on to the sequel, which I did end up liking the most out of the three, although I still think Lords of Shadow 1 is kind of objectively the best game. But I was kind of more excited to go to that one, so I was getting a little bit impatient with this one, and yada 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 yada. Okay, so. We should turn back the clock now, huh? back in time. The top floor of the tower should be there now. Yeah, let's just hope this doesn't have any story repercussions going forward. It doesn't, like, the series doesn't go that far off the rails, but can you imagine? 
The last thing this cluster needed was freaking time travel built and everything else. And I think this is going to be the one portion that I actually Here do remember. Here are the remember. shrines of the three founders of your order. Yeah, we have three shrines for the, the three saints that would At later the become. End, the sage Zobek was only a pawn in the hands of Satan. But still. If you had known, would you have killed him when you had the chance, Gabriel? I don't know, that's a good question. I mean, he did kind of play as Zobek did. But we have a shrine, you know, to all three of them right here. And we I think there's going to be a trial, like, associated with all three of them. Or something like that. So let me go ahead and see. Is there anything else up here? The very top? Oh, we're probably gonna have to do something with the trials before we do that, huh? Although we are pretty high up here, wow. There's a whole lot of nothing up here for right now, though, isn't there? Yeah. So we have to do the three trials that make our way up here, and then I guess we'll get to where the Forgotten One was imprisoned. Okay, so how about we do this in reverse order that we actually did them, right? So first up is... Indy gonna be our... good friend. Zobek. 